Warhammer 40k Darktide has been the game that I keep playing off and on for the past year. The content has been slowly coming out, but with every update comes more and more things to enjoy. The latest update for the game, named Patch 13, is a big one, so big in fact that it has completely changed a portion of the game for the better. This patch has finally brought in something that the community has been wanting for some time now. We finally have some freedom to create our rejects in a way we never have before. With this latest update, each class has shifted to crafting your ideal playstyle. And with the new talent trees introduced, Fat Shark has replaced the old feats with new abilities, passives, and nodes to support general attributes like toughness or damage. This change is such a positive turn for Darktide, and honestly, I hope this revives some of the hype for the game. Darktide feels great to play now, even more so with all these new class changes, but that's not all. Weapons have gotten a huge balance patch as well. Weapon movesets have been changed to feel a little bit smoother when fighting in melee combat, weapon stats have been adjusted to fit the profile of the weapon a bit better, meaning buffs across all stats and all weapons, and of course, changes to the blessings. Blessings have been in a weird spot. Some have been adjusted to increase the functionality of lesser used blessings, while reducing overused ones to get a little bit more variety in the mix. These changes towards blessings aren't too drastic, just some fine tuning to make sure the meta stays fresh and so people don't feel like they need specific blessings to perform in a specific way. In all honesty, after reading through the patch notes, most if not all of the blessings got a significant pass when it came to balancing their effectiveness on the battlefield giving more freedom to the players that were building their characters from the start, and also maintaining the characters that were already at max level. Some of the enemies have also been worked on to provide more consistent behaviors for each of their respective variants. For instance, the combat director now sends in hordes from completely different directions, now collectively sending in strike teams with specialists for a more intimate encounter. Monstrosities have also been reworked to spawn more often within a single mission, of course dependent on your difficulty, but now have a chance to even spawn multiple within a single encounter which can lead to some intense teamwork. One of my favorite enemy updates in this patch has actually been for the Pox Burster. Now, whenever they explode, they can hurt and kill surrounding infested enemies, and they can even start a chain reaction between other Pox Bursters. Like I said before though, the amount of changes in this patch are abundant. Honestly, there's almost too much to talk about. So for anyone interested in seeing all of the changes in the words of Fat Shark themselves, I'm gonna post the link to the patch notes in my description. It's definitely worth a read if you want to know what to look out for, especially regarding blessings and weapon changes. But overall, I want to talk about the biggest portion of this update, and in all reality, probably the most important. The class overhaul is a dramatic change in Darktide. Every single class has new passive abilities that will coincide with how you play that specific reject. That means new grenade types, new throwables, new abilities, new passives, and completely new ways to play. The combinations you can make are a little overwhelming at first, but as you assemble your reject, keep in mind with how your weapons function and how you like to play. I've been experimenting with this new class system, and some of the new abilities are insanely fun. For instance, Psyker has always been my go-to class to play whenever I'm playing with a group of randoms or with friends. I always love the utilization of my abilities and the dependency of how easily I can clear out specials while my team would focus on horde clearing, but now I can do both. The new Assail ability replaces Brain Rupture. Now I can send up to 10 homing shards that will follow my mouse cursor into my enemies. That means horde clearing is now a reality with just a press of a button for the Psyker. This alone has become one of my favorite builds because I basically don't need a weapon. I would juggle sending at least 2-3 shards out at a time, and then quelling all of my peril. The shift of being able to horde clear gives my team even more time to react to specialists and elites, especially on Damnation. Or, maybe you enjoy playing Ogren like I do. Although, maybe instead of smacking around trash mobs, you want to unload heavy artillery into your enemies. Well, leaning into the right side of the talent tree grants you just that. I've made a build that allows my Ogren to just spray into the horde without ever having to worry about reloading, effectively making my Ogren into a machine gun wielding monster. Using my twin stubbers has never felt better, but when I get to use my new ability called Point Blank Barrage, it increases my fire rate to 25% and my reload speed to 70% for 10 seconds, meaning lots more bullets hitting lots more targets. I find the best time to activate this ability is right before emptying your clip because it also refills your entire magazine instantly. These new abilities are great, but don't be afraid to go back to your roots either. The abilities that we once had are still there, but augmented to work a bit differently. I have a zealot build that reuses a lot of the older feats, but with a fresh coat of paint. A lot of the new passives are utilized in my build to help with my damage reduction and to keep my overall damage up within encounters. One of the best things that I found that works well for my build is the keystone ability called Inexorable Judgment. Basically, with this passive, as long as you are moving, you're gaining stacks of momentum. With this passive, you can earn up to 20 stacks, and once you hit an enemy, you spend all those stacks. 
gaining a plus 1% to my melee attack speed, ranged attack speed, and damage per stack. One way to keep these stacks up are utilizing my other passives for dodging. Duelist, for example, is another passive that amplifies my damage towards weak spots and crit hits for up to 3 seconds after any successful dodge. Zealot used to feel pretty clunky to me, but now I feel like I can keep up with my team and juggle my abilities effectively. And lastly, the veteran class has been reworked to favor many different ways to play, whether you want to be in stealth or be the team sniper. The versatility is fine-tuned for the veteran, although I've always liked to play as a high-damaging sniper. I've been working on a build that utilizes a weapon that I myself haven't even enjoyed since the beta of the game. The Hellboard Charge Rifle is the type of weapon you should be looking out for with this playstyle. I managed to get Surgical and Onslaught as the two blessings for this weapon, and it decimates monstrosities, elites, and specialists without even draining my ammo pool. See, one of the new passives in the Veteran's Talent Tree is called Shock Trooper, meaning las guns consume no ammo upon a critical hit, and Surgical allows you to aim down sights for 10% chance of hitting a crit within 10 stacks making it a 100% chance of hitting a critical shot and not using up any of your ammo. Ammo usually isn't a problem for vets, but I can roam around the entire map now without even having to look for an ammo clip with this build. I never even went down below 15 rounds on Damnation. This is just the tip of the iceberg with this class. Using the augmented version of Folly Fire, now called Executioner Stance, with this ability you can consistently keep shots down range with enemies highlighted and pick them off easily with this weapon. If any of my builds interest you in changing your ways of playing through Damnation, don't worry because I plan to share all these builds within the week. I just want a little bit more time to iron out some things before I do and make a more in-depth video regarding each of my builds. Overall, as a fan of Fat Shark and Dark Tide, I am very happy with this patch, mostly because of the ability to create a piece of myself within my character. Truly though, the combinations are insane, and with the loadout system in place, you can swap your classes for any situation on the fly now. Darktide is finally shaping itself into the game that I want it to become. It's a great time right now, and while it's still getting updates and content pushed for it, jumping into it right now is a better time than any. Anyways, I'm gonna go look for another mission to do, but in case you forgot, my name is Zen, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care of yourself.